Okay, next is the consent calendar, public communication. You're welcome and encouraged to participate in this meeting. Public comment is taken on. Items listed on the agenda, then when, when they are ca called, public comments on items not listed on the agenda will be heard at this time. Comments on controversial items may be limited at large groups or encouraged to select a representative to express the opinions of the group. I have a speaker card here, Mr. Phil Tenner. Would you like to come up, please? Trainer. Hey, I'm batting a thousand. I'm telling you, I'm three for three. I was here a couple of weeks ago, and any of you that show up at these meetings recognize me for the guy that gets up and gripes about the pension issue. Something happened today that maybe a lot of people probably don't know. The courts ruled that the pensions shall stay as they are. Subject to, if you could make a, if you could ratify them through the unions or whatever. In spite of that, I am not here to gripe about anybody getting a pension. That's the last thing in the world. I'm here to gripe about the fact is that you won't have money in the pension f fund. Uh, it grieves me to think that the public are so apathetic about understanding what pensions are. The other thing that I don't like is the fact is that I don't think that the employees of the city or the county understand what's happening in their pensions. I would like to think, and I've asked for this before, that we get CalPERS up here and have CalPERS explain to the council and to the public what's going on. We've had CalPERS come up because I've asked for them in the past. We've had them come up and they've given us wonderful, they get the screens going and they rattle off a bunch of stuff and nobody understood a damn thing they said and they're not subject to, being, to having to ask any questions. I would ask the council if it is possible to form a committee, probably made up by the council, city employees, union, and a delegation from the public, and see what we can do about these pensions, because we're throwing our hands in the air and saying, we can't do anything about it. And them that are getting pensions today, they won't be getting them 10 years from now, and them that are paying money in today, depending on how old they are, they're whistling in the dark. Thank you. I appreciate your time, and I hope I don't have to come up again on pensions. Thank you. Thank you, Phil. Okay. Uh, parents of interested citizens, members of the public may address the Yuba City Council on items interested within the city's jurisdiction. Individuals addressing general comments are encouraged to limit their statements to three minutes. Does anybody here would like to come up and speak? Please come up and state your name. Um, my name is Vincent Burns. I live at 549 Clint Way, Yuba City. I uh, had a meeting with Vice Mayor Cardoza and Sean Harris in the last week or so, two weeks maybe. And I'm here to address and talk about the homeless situation down at the River Bottoms. I'm very concerned about this. This is something I'm uh, very passionate about. And I'm here to ask that we talk more about it and get with people like Brandon Barnes, the city attorneys, the whoever, people that can make things happen. We need to get something going to at least talk about the pollution of our river, the the trash, the degradation down there, and just the, all the trailers in front of the Sheriff's Posse Arena, all that stuff. Where are people going to the bathroom? Everything like that. I want to know what we can do, and I think it's a team effort that needs to be done. And I would like to have that some kind of meeting set up and public invited to it. You know, at least a few people from the public that are passionate about it. I would like to be there. I will clear my schedule. I can make any time available. And so this is something that we need to start talking about, start getting people to a meeting, a committee, whatever you want to call it. It's a joint venture that we have to deal with. The, the river bombs are being destroyed on all sides of the river. 
and this is something that I'm passionate about, and I got all your phone numbers. I'll be calling you this week. <laughs> Have a good day. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, my name is Thomas Burns, and I'm at 1885 Greengate Street. Now, I uh, printed this little short story for all you council members, and it has to do with uh, Davy Crockett. So I'm going to hand it to her, and she can give it to you. Hopefully you'll get a chance to read it. Anyway, uh, I made myself a few notes here, and uh, I titled this, says, Do the People Have a Right to Be Angry? And this has to do with the last meeting that we had here at the city council, and I was angry at that meeting. The uh, I've tried to simmer down since then a little bit. But uh, we had SACOG got representative here, and he was talking about uh, our region. And he mentioned the region, 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 about 10 times. Well, regionalism is not the constitutional government that we are supposed to have here in the United States. So I believe through regionalism, they're co-opting our government and they're taking the power from the people. So there's, that's just a little bit to be said about that. And uh, there's a lot written about regionalism. Hopefully you guys will dig into it and take a little time to learn a little bit more about it. And uh, we are a constitutional republic here in the United States. We're not a democracy. I think you said the pledge probably before I got here. And it says, uh, and to the democracy or to the republic? Yeah, to the republic. I was really upset too about this. Uh, I think it was close to 67 million in um, pension debt. And I, I just can't believe it. You know, in the private sector, Anybody that did that would be non-existent, out of business, gone. So that, that is, uh, it's a crying shame. And also our road conditions, unbelievable. I mean, every, uh, everywhere you go, it's terrible. Uh, take, some, take some of the people's money and fix the roads. And uh, the building that's being that's proposed to be built right there on Garden and Miles. I think it's going to be close to 40 feet tall. Everything in that area is about 18 feet tall, 12 foot tall. And it's going to be like a uh, monument. Uh, it, it's, it's just going to look terrible there, in my opinion. And I'm pretty sure that uh, they would not put that right here at Calusa and Stabler Lane, would they? right there in front of uh, the John Deere dealer. So, thank you. Bye. Thank you, Mr. Burns. Is there anybody else who would like to speak? All right. Uh, we have one more. Please come up and state your name. <clears throat> Hello, uh, my name's Charles Jones. Uh, I live at 1156 John Wayne Drive, Yuba City. I'm new to your city. I've been here a year at the end of this month. Uh, I moved from the Bay Area. Uh, get away. One thing to get away from the traffic, the congestion, the high prices of housing, uh, et cetera. Uh, I like this town so far. It, it's, uh, it's great. There's a couple things that I could put my finger out on that I don't like. One of them, my biggest peeve tonight will be the rates, your water rates. Um, I'm paying double up here from what I pay down there. And from what I understand, you guys just had a rate increase, if I'm not mistaken. I think uh, during the elections, uh, I saw on one of you guys' websites, I think it was you, did Mr. Shaw, about something about that. And I was wondering, is there, is there any process where you guys are going to revisit that or, or what? I'm just trying to bring it up because... Not everybody that fits into their budget, you know what I'm saying? And I've cut back. 
I'm down to uh, less than two. There's the flat rate of 54, 56 bucks. And then there's the uh, next, I think, one to 15 units that they metered to metered. I use less than three units every month. And that's during the summer too. But I'm still paying, like I'm, I'm, still, I'm averaging 90 bucks a month. As Bay Area, I'm averaging 45, 50 bucks a month. So, I, you know, I just thought to, uh, I'd bring that up and see if uh, I could get any traction on that. Thank you. Shannon, am I allowed to answer his question about when we do the uh, serve, when we do the fees, rate fees? That's within your discretion, yes. Okay. Um, sir, the rate fees are going to be coming up. It's every June. June? And yes. So it's coming up in a couple of months, sir. Okay. Thank, Thank you. you. All righty. Next, we have the consent calendar. Oh, does anybody else would like to speak? I'm sorry. Can I make one more comment, Mr. Vice Mayor? Sure. Go ahead. I would just like to give an open invitation to you, sir. If you're here after the meeting, I'd be more than happy to talk to you about the water. 